In this video, I'm going to show you how to plumb this shower drain. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel's all about building your own house, saving a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video, and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask in return for making this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over the things you'll need to do this project. The items I'll be using on this project is two inch PVC pipe, a rigid job max with a Sawzall head attachment, or you can use a regular Sawzall or a miter box, whatever you use to cut PVC, a two inch coupling, PVC cement, and PVC primer, and a utility knife, a tape measure, and safety glasses. And you can find these items in my Amazon store. There's a link in the description below. And if you do make a purchase, I earn a small commission, but it's an extra cost to you to help support the channel. I'm directly below the shower pan in the crawl space. And that's what you see here is the drain coming out of the shower pan right here. And if you notice that I had to bore out part of this floor joist in order to accommodate for this two inch pipe, and I also used an offset drain when I did this installation, so that way I didn't have to go directly through it, and I totally would have had to scrap this floor joist, but I put another floor joist directly beside it to help strengthen it. And so the goal here is to adjoin this drain to this two inch pipe. And now let me show you the trap that's down below. The trap is directly below right here. And as you can see, it's just a simple two inch trap. And showers and tub shower combos, you must install the trap after the installation from up above, unlike a vanity or a sink. As you can see, I'm wearing safety glasses. That's because I'm gonna be cutting right here about eye level. And also I'm gonna be using primer and the cement. So you definitely wanna protect your eyes so you don't get in your eyes. I'm gonna cut the two inch PVC pipe right around this area. I just wanna cut it right below this floor joist cause it's gonna be a little easier to work with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my job max with the Sawzall or the reciprocating saw head attachment. If you're wondering what that red thing is that fell out of the pipe, that was the plug for the water test. And you always wanna to try to hold your reciprocating saw square so you make a nice even cut. So after you cut it where you want it, you gotta take a utility knife and then just clean the burrs around the pipe. What you also need to do that's very important is clean the burrs off from the inside of the pipe right here because hair and whatnot can gather on those burrs if you don't remove them. I'm gonna use this two inch collar to slide over the cut I just made and make sure I go down all the way over it and I'm not gonna glue it quite yet. Now what I'm gonna do is take my tape measure, place it down into the pipe to where the actual pipe's gonna rest, and it looks like it's gonna go down about three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna measure up into the drain to where it's gonna go as well. So from the inside of this collar to the inside of that drain, I got 10 and a half inches. So I need to cut a pipe 10 and a half inches. In order to cut this, I'm just gonna measure over 10 and a half inches, make a mark, and then I'm going to take my reciprocating saw, just hold on that mark. Always put pressure against the pipe as I cut, and also, I like to use a metal blade. I didn't explain this earlier because they make a finer cut than using any other blade that I found. Just so you know, I would use a miter saw if I was going to be plumbing this whole house, but since it's a little job like this, I like to use a reciprocating saw. As you can see, we got all these burrs to remove on this as well, and all I gotta do is take my utility knife and just scrape along the pipe like so, and also remove the ones on the inside as well. I'll even go to this factory edge and do the same thing just to make sure it's nice and clean. I'm gonna take that collar and put it onto the piece of pipe we just cut, put it on all the way, and then I'm just going to slide it right over the piece of pipe coming up and go ahead and dry fit it into that drain coming down. And there should be enough flex to fold it in there and that looks really good. So now that we know the pipe is cut correctly, we can go ahead and glue it together. I'm going to take the primer and go ahead and prime all of the areas that's gonna have a joint. So we're gonna first prime up inside of the shower drain and always use the purple primer because the inspectors actually look for the purple to make sure that it was primed because by code you got to use primer. 
I almost made a classic mistake right here. Typically when you have a plumbing pipe that you're trying to prime before you install it, you want to angle it down so that way the primer does not go down the pipe and leave streaks like you see on the pipe now. But whenever you go around the pipe, just make sure you go around about three or four times and all it does is really just clean that pipe and soften the plastic so that way when the cement bonds to it, it bonds to it for life. And you also want to make sure any debris is out of the way before you put the primer onto the pipe. I'm going to take the cement and glue the coupling to the two inch pipe and I always give my cement just a good little shake and also do this with my primer as well. So now I'm just going to take a liberal amount of cement and go right around that joint and inside of the coupling as well. And then I'm just going to push it on and twist at the same time. And then after it's all the way together, I'm going to hold pressure for a good 20 seconds or so. That way it gives the cement time to bond to the pipe. And if you're wearing gloves, you can also just take the excess glue, kind of wipe it off, and that way it gives it a pretty looking job. To do this part, I'm going to have to work quick because what I'm going to do is put cement on this side of the pipe in this coupling and up in the drain and on this pipe down here and put both joints together at once and give them a nice twist. So there's no room to be messing around here. I got to work as fast as possible. Along with placing cement on the pipes that you see here, I also put cement on the pipe that we glued together earlier. You just couldn't see it on the video. Now that I got cement on everything, I'm just going to put everything together all in one shot. So like that, and then always make sure I give it a good little twist, and then hold pressure tight into that drain. So that way the joints are going to be held together securely. And just like the joint we did earlier, just hold it together a good 20 seconds or so. As you can see, the water is going to come straight out of that shower pan down this two inch pipe and into this two inch trap. And that trap is going to give the water a place to lay to keep the sewer gases out of the house. Just so you're aware, they do make traps like this that have a threaded connection. So that way, if you do drop something down a drain, you can just unthread it here and then get, let's say, your ring or whatever you drop down the drain out. So that's the only problem with having ones that glue together like this. If you drop something down the drain, you're going to have to cut this out and replace this whole section to get inside this trap. A Sawzall two inch collar or union. I have to uh, hear a <laughs> how to install this to the shower, Jerry. I'm in the crawl spell. Something you got to be very mother. If you need to know how to install a shower pan and drain, check out this video. It'll help you out.